my next project is a really nice chest of drawers and there's nothing wrong with it except it's a little bit dated. So I want to give it an upgrade. So I am painting it with DIY paint and black velvet. I am going to put an Astoria vintage IOD transfer on it. It's also black, but it's going to be super cool. Let's get started. I'm going to spritz the surface with a continuous spray water bottle. Now the reason I'm doing that is because the paint is really pretty thick and it's very, very pigmented. So a little goes a long way. So if I get the surface a little bit damp first, I will find that my paint will just go so much further. Piece of 20 grit sandpaper. I like fold it in third and then lightly go over it. It's gonna guff it up a little bit and it might even distress it a little bit, but that's okay. What in the paint's gonna come off in a fine dust, so don't worry about the weird going on. But I just kind of go wet lightly back and forth, and when it will smooth to the touch, I know I'm done. So let's get started. You can use like a big chip brush, a rag, a lint cloth. You can also use your handheld vacuum. I vacuumed up a whole bunch of hot chocolate yesterday that I spilled on the board. I didn't want my dogs to get it. So it smells like chocolate at the same time in my vacuuming. I am going to apply Iron Orchid Design Transfer. This is Winter Song. This is one of the older formats. The new formats are coming a lot like. You can get these from me at olifeplace.com. I'll put links in. This is inspired by Alter Ending, and I will put links to their social media as well. She had a beautiful black dresser with a black transfer on it. So what I do love, um, there's so many things I love about the IOD transfers, but one of the things that's really great is this gridded paper. If there's parts of the transfer I don't want to use, I can just cut it out. So I'm going to save this part and make some another project with the leaf roll on the top and just use the beautiful flower scene down here. So I'm going to cut that and then I'm going to show you how to put it on. So what's so cool about this transfer is it's black and white, but it is it as just black, which is really cool on black on black, but you can also paint in the negative space and you can use DIY paint, add just the teeniest bit of paint and add water and you can make it into a watercolor. Okay, so I took the white backing paper away that keeps it from sticking to itself and sticking to your piece before you're ready. It looks just a little bit crooked, so just try not to let it touch your piece as you're doing this. Better to keep that white paper there. Being how my day is gone, this is kind of how it's gonna go. I'm gonna just lightly press it down. Um, now, it's gonna get tricky. You're gonna have to move it a little bit, but I'm going to go around the hardware. And I've done that before. You can see that in my other video where I did the white dresser with the label ephemera, and it was just turned out so cool, I couldn't wait to try it again. Keep your tape on hand. I really like this frog tape. It doesn't pull the paint off. I'm going to be moving it around a little bit as I put this on here. But you just want it basically to kind of stay in the same place. Every IOD transfer comes with one of these little plastic scrapey burnishing sticks. What I typically do is I start in one corner. I'll just pick a spot to start and kind of start working my way over. <laughs> up this piece. You can see that the paint is very flat when it dries and very matte. As it is, it's extremely durable. It won't chip or crack because there's no latex or acrylic in DIY clay and shock paint, but also very absorbed. So you want to put some kind of protectant on it. Either I really prefer DIY clear wax or a brush on coat. You could use big top or clear patina depending on what kind of finish you're looking for. All of them work great and are durable. Wax is always my favorite because it provides this really soft finish. You put it on, wait for it to dry. It can take, you know, if it's warm, 24 hours, hold like right now, just a few hours, and then you're gonna buff it. I would not buff with a rag normally for a piece this big. I sell these on my website, Buffy Brushes, and they're fantastic. They fit into your drill bit and it saves all the shoulder work. To apply DIY clear wax, I like to use the Relaxed Fit Waxing Brush. I like to put like even less than this on it usually. A little goes a long way. I am 
going to just start on one side. I like to work in concentric circles, but you can go back and forth as well. It's just a matter of preference. When you start, it's gonna make the paint, it's really penetrating it. So it's going to look kind of wet. And sometimes, especially if you have multiple colors, you'll think that like, what did I do to my piece? Don't freak out. It's going to look really weird and wet. And then it's going to dry and be very matte and hazy. Then you're gonna buff it. It's gonna be perfect, kind of like Goldilocks. Too wet, too dry, just right. took me a few minutes. You can see how nice and shiny the top is. And I did it so easily with my Buffy brush. I keep two of these on hand, one for dark, as you can see, and one for lighter colored pieces. If you're planning on doing some dark pieces, I definitely recommend that you keep both on hand because DIY paint is so pigmented, it will definitely transfer. To clean these, all you really need to do is just take a rag and rub them off on it. And here's a tip. Don't let your sweater get too close to it because my sweater got completely tangled up. When I finished the dresser, I realized you couldn't see the transfer well enough and I decided to add some white wax. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and check out my blog. Also, redointeriors.com. Shop my store all of place. See you soon.